Hey people, it is Tuesday, June the 16th, and the time is 3.16 in the afternoon, and the temperature is currently a extremely hot 32 degrees Celsius, with the Humidex feeling more like 42 degrees Celsius. So I'm not a big fan of walking around in extremely hot and humid weather, so I thought I'd take a walk in some air-conditioned comfort across as much of downtown as I could via the PATH system. So I'm here right now at Bay and Dundas, and the atrium on Bay is just right here on my right. So I thought I would start by walking through the atrium on Bay and continuing on south through the Eaton Center and on through the path as far south as it will go, which is down by Queen's Key, right by the shore of Lake Ontario. So I'm going to avoid the heat by walking through some air-conditioned comfort. Ah, and right off the bat, it is much, much <laughs> more comfortable. The air conditioning is working perfectly. This is a small 1980s era shopping mall. It runs along Dundas Street between Bay and Young. And it has two floors of retail and it has about 12 floors of office space up above. And it's called the Atrium on Bay because of this. by far its most interesting architectural feature. Other than that, it's a pretty typical, somewhat bland looking shopping center. It does have some decent shops though, at the flagship Muji store here. There's a decent food court. The place that I used to frequent in the food court. Where I would get pad thai. And I see this is the exit out onto Young Street. So I walked right past the escalator. I think I was too distracted looking up at the atrium to take note of the escalator. But here it is. looks even better from one floor below. Okay, this is new. I don't think this was here last time. Professional book fair. So now we're heading out of the atrium. There's a lot more to them all, but this video isn't really meant to be a tour of them all. It's just meant to be a basically a beeline from 
Bay and Dundas to Queen's Key. And we've just entered into Dundas subway station. There's a platform for the southbound trains. And this is an entrance into the Eaton Center. This will be pretty much just a straight shot through this mall as well. This is the biggest and busiest mall in downtown Toronto and one of the busiest malls in all of North America. Three hundred shops and services, and it's serviced by two subway stations: Dundas Station and Queen Station. And it has, I think, four levels of shops and restaurants, and several more levels up above, with a couple of major office towers connected to the mall. I think three major office towers, actually. This is the second level we're currently walking on. Enjoying this air conditioning. And you go again. Okay. There's a nice view and the fountain down below. And I believe the glass atrium is undergoing renovations to replace it. So it will be all shiny and new in the near future.
Looks like they've already replaced some panes of glass. You can see some of them that look brand new. Much more transparent than the old glass that's been up there ever since the mall opened, I think, in 1977. So I think it's definitely overdue for some sprucing up. And it's certainly a lot darker here with the uh, atrium covered up. And it really hits home how much natural light is lit inside here due to that nice atrium. I have done some extensive walkthroughs of the mall. I'd like to check some of those out. I'll continue my trip down to Queen's Key, all in air conditioned comfort. This is the pedestrian bridge heading over Queen Street. Connects them all to the Hudson's Bay Company store and to the Saks Fifth Avenue store. This is the Hudson's Bay store, I believe. I'll just make my way over to the escalators to take us down. Gotta go down to the lower levels to continue along the path. One more level. Whoa, the air conditioning feels much cooler down here. This is Pusicherry's food hall. Yeah. So now we'll be heading out of the store and down into the main part of the path that passes underneath the financial district.
Okay, so we're in the Bay Adelaide Center portion of the path. dark down here too. Scotia Plaza. You can tell which office towers have more people back in the office depending on what part of the path you're walking through. that you can uh, figure out which like companies are having more people back in the office depending on which companies are in those office towers. Now we're leaving Scotia Plaza and entering Thomas Court. Court. There are more food courts than you can shake a stick at down here in the path.
Toronto Dominion Center. Also known as TD Bank. Food hall. Ooh, nutrition house. Nice to see all these shops and restaurants getting business again. After basically getting next to nothing for upwards of two years. station.
looks like we're coming outside here, but we're not. We're still indoors with air conditioning. There's a nice glass roof over this part here. And welcome to the Bay Concourse in Union Station. I believe this Sephora store just recently opened. And there are a number of new retailers on the way. That will take you up through the station into the Great Hall and the York Concourse. Here's a look at the new Sephora. LCBO coming soon. I believe that'll be the next retailer to open up. In next month is when that's due to open. Strangely, going up a level, the air conditioning is cooler here than it was down below. There's a bunch of people waiting for their GO trains. You can access various platforms here as they wait. You can see what time your trains are leaving upon the many screens. I have done complete tours through Union Station in the past also. If you'd like to take a look at one of those. I'm going to continue on. Now this place looks a little bit unfinished. As Union Station is always a work in progress. I think this is the Bay Teamway here. And I didn't have to go outside. I could have went the other way and entered the Scotiabank Arena from down that long corridor, but too late now. In any case, it's just a brief <laughs> little moment in the outside heat. I just turned left when I should have turned right. So now we're in Scotiabank Arena. And that's the way I could have come into the arena directly from inside the Bay Concourse. Looks like I'm about to go outside, but no, there's more path over this way. If they will,
we're just passing over Maple Leaf Square down below, also known as Jurassic Park. And my camera just decided to randomly stop recording for some reason. Luckily I noticed it and just started it right back up again. I know it's turned off or stopped recording a few times because of overheating, but I've been walking through air conditioning this whole time, so I'm not sure what caused it to turn off that time. There's another look down into Maple Leaf Square slash Jurassic Park. We can actually get a look at the tower itself and not just its reflection there. So that's another branch of the path heading west. But I'll keep pressing southward here. view of the Gardner Expressway. We'll be getting another view of that more close up as we pass directly underneath it. There's lots of traffic on Lakeshore Boulevard. It's like a bit of a traffic nightmare actually. Got lane closures and all that fun stuff that people just love when they're trying to drive across downtown. I don't know why anyone would even want to try to drive across downtown, but hey, whatever turns you on. I'll stick to walking, thanks. I think this is the first time I've ever actually walked along this part of the path. CIBC Square, and the Towers of Brookfield Place. And a rather large winter store here. South Street Burger. I'm going to walk over Harbor Street. air conditioning is still quite strong. And here is the sort of money shot along this part of the path. This amazing canyon developing here looking east along Harbor Street. This is Water Park Place, so this is the first time I've ever been in this building and this far south in the path. I think the farthest I've gone previously is the 10 York building.
of the food court. I should do a tour of the path counting every food court sometime. That might be interesting. to exit directly onto Queen's Key. Key West and the heat is oppressive it's like walking into a dog's mouth after coming outside of so much air conditioning so Queens Key so Lake Ontario is just across the street and to the bit to the south so that's it we successfully walked all the way from Van Dundas down to Queen's Key, entirely indoors with air conditioning on an oppressively hot, humid day, except for that one little moment when I mistakenly went outside for about 10 seconds <laughs> at Scotiabank Arena. But you get the idea, I could have easily just went the other way and stayed indoors. So if you enjoyed the walk, leave a comment below. And be sure to like and share and subscribe to the channel. Let me know your thoughts on Toronto's path system. Would you like to see something like that in your city? Or you think you'd get lost? And a lot of people do get lost, believe me. <laughs> I still take wrong turns, as you can see. And make sure you hit that notification bell. That way you won't miss any of my videos. And if you'd like to support the channel, there are links in the description where you can do so via PayPal and via my merch store. And you can also find me on Instagram under K Continuum. And I've also recently enabled that super thanks button down below if you'd like to support the channel that way. So thanks for watching, and be sure to keep checking back because, as always, I will continue.